Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is the only astronomical object that sustains life. This beautiful planet is a house to human and many visibly seen and unseen creatures. Our survival is impossible without the environment. The environmental resources are limited and the Earth have certain carrying capacity. It is for sure that the Earth can cater the need of everyone, but it cannot fulfill greed. The explosive population growth and the extreme material development has to be considered carefully. What we are able to use today is all the free gift of nature. If we could utilize them wisely, our future generation could also use them. It is important to be wise, careful, and responsible while utilizing natural resources. This can be termed as sustainable development. To be specific, sustainable development covers the area of economic development, social development, and environmental conservation. Now let's go back to the history to learn about the origination of the concept of sustainable development. In December 1983, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Javier Perez de Kuller, asked the former Prime Minister of Norway, Gro Harlem Brutland, to create an organization independent of the UN to focus on environmental and developmental problems and solutions after an affirmation by the General Assembly Resolution in the fall of 1983. This new organization was the Brutland Commission, or more formally, the World Commission on Environment and Development, WCED. The Brutland Commission was first headed by Gro Harling Brutland as chairman and Manzoor Khalid as vice chairman. The organization aimed to create a united international community with shared sustainability goals by identifying sustainability problems worldwide, raising awareness about them, and suggesting the implementation of solutions. In 1987, the Brutland Commission published the first volume of Our Common Future, the organization's main report. Our Common Future strongly influenced the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 1992 and the third UN Conference on Environment and Development in Johannesburg, South Africa in 2002. The 42nd session of the UN General Assembly adopted and endorsed the report prepared on our common future. According to the report, economic and social development that meets the needs of the current generation without undermining the ability of future generation to meet their own needs can be termed as a sustainable development. In this regard, the objectives of sustainable developments can be listed as to run development smoothly and effectively, to use means and resources wisely, to maintain balance between population and environment, to achieve high, stable, and sustainable economic growth, to check environmental degradation, to help alleviate poverty, to encourage public participation, to promote social justice among people. At the same time, some features of sustainable development can be listed in the following ways. Sustainable development helps make best utilization of means and resources. It controls utilitarian culture. It helps in fair distribution of means and resources. It best fulfills the needs of the current generation and respects the needs of the future. It helps achieve high and broad economic growth. It causes least possible damage to the environment. It increases the use of perpetual natural resources and decreases that of other types of resources. It maintains harmony between population and environment. It integrates conservation programs with development programs. It focuses on three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. There is no alternative to sustainable development 
but the job of environmental care cannot be left to one or two individuals or countries. So, to practice sustainable development, following points can help us. Development of public awareness. National and international collaboration is highly required. Poverty alleviation. Extensive use of alternative energy. Application of appropriate technology. Enforcement of effective laws. Control of rapid population growth. Hundred ninety one member countries of the United Nations agreed to try to achieve the Millennium Development Goals by the year twenty fifteen. The United Nations Millennium Declarations, signed in September two thousand, commits world leaders to combat poverty, hunger, disease, illiteracy, environmental degradation, and discrimination against women. Ban Ki Moon. The United Nations Secretary General from 2007 to 2016 stated in a November 2016 press conference that we don't have Plan B because there is no Planet B. On the basis of MDZ, 17 global goals were designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all by the United Nations. The General Assembly of the UN set these 17 global goals in 2015, which are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. Let's see the list of these global goals. 